All right, guys, what's up? So today we're gonna go ahead and do my best three higher level plyometric drills that you can do or exercises that are going to enhance your combat sport performance. Let's get into it. Okay guys, now when you're first starting out, if you have a beginner, there's ways to regress this and progress this over time. I'm gonna give you more of that intermediate to advanced version now, where we're gonna be working through multi-directional movements from a plyometric standpoint. So when you're talking plyometric, like I've said in the past, it's how you're able to reproduce force fast, right, with a fast, amortization phase, basically the time it takes for you to get off the ground or get to the ground and get off the ground efficiently and fast. What we wanna work on is what's called the stretch shortening cycle. That's gonna be giving you the ability to, again, reproduce force as fast as possible, making sure that your tendons and every soft tissue is ready to, again, produce that force as fast as possible from the ground up, right? So we're looking at tendon stiffness. We're also looking at the nervous system activating appropriately as fast as possible. So. When you're talking about combat sports, you have multi-directional movement patterns that are gonna be um, inside that fight. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that you have the ability to rotate and move and use unilateral movements to allow you to get in and out of the pocket, to produce force, whether it be a takedown, to evade a takedown, and then to let off your strikes efficiently. So we use plyometric drills to enhance the power production and the speed of a movement, right? So first one we're gonna do is just basically going down to the knees and it's a pop-up drill. So I'm gonna go both knees down, I'm sitting on my heels, right? Now this is gonna be the start of it. So you have the beginner portion of this movement. Now, this is how you're gonna regress this and progress this. If you wanna find out more details on regression and progression, go ahead, check out my mentorship program. You can get a call with one of my teammates and make sure that you understand what you're getting into because trust me, you're gonna get a lot of information thrown at you at once. So if you wanna find out more, hit the link down below and you'll get started. So now what we're gonna do is full kneeling position. I'm gonna to jump to my feet. So what I really wanna enhance is that hip extension and getting my feet underneath me, all right? So I'm gonna use some arm drive. I'm gonna drive my, he uh, my heels through and stomp the floor down. Now the goal, is to land with efficiency. I don't want to see my knees collapse. I don't want to see my feet cave in, right? I want to have good tension. I want to be supinated with full force and full ground contact. So I'm looking at a big surface space. Think about three points of contact, your big toe, your little toe, and your heel as you land, right? So arms are going to swing. I come down and up. My hips go up and stick. Okay, same thing. Okay. And again, right now is the beginner portion. So this is the first part of a three part dynamic movement that we're going to do for plow metrics. First one, again, like I said, drive the hips through and stick. Okay. All right. So if you're a beginner, you can just start with that. A lot of times with my guys that lack mobility, um, we want to start with this. It gives them the ability to get that hip extension, to get their feet underneath them and they explode from that ground up. Okay. Also, when you stick the landing, you want to make sure that you're in a good, solid athletic position, right? We're not caved in in our chest, right? Your butt's not kicked in, your knees are not kicked forward. You're sitting in a good position, almost like a linebacker stance, right? So now we'll add on to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with a unilateral force and we're going to drive off one leg and rotate 45 degrees, similar to if I was going to blade myself, pushing in and out of the pocket. But we're gonna throw that plyometric component in there. Because as soon as I hit the ground with two feet, I'm gonna push off one and land on two. All right, so here it goes. Pop, pop. Okay, so now we're getting into more of the intermediate version or the second part of this plyometric series where this exercise, again, is gonna be a three part. The first part is jumping from the knees to the feet. Then the second part is lateral force, right? And at 45 degree angle, I'm pushing off the, uh, the left side or the right side of the leg. And you're going to push off through that supinated position. So if you look at your feet, you have pronation where you basically have a collapsation of the arch. And then you have supination where you create that arch or what we call short foot. When I go to push, I'm gonna rotate, create supination and drive off that back foot. 
essentially pushing back, right? So if I'm bladed and I get into a position, it allows me to get out of the pocket, just like if I were to go push forward. So as you're pushing back and forth, right, you're using those muscles and you're using that same position or that foot placement to produce that force, whether it be going front or back. Now what we're gonna do is throw the third part in there, whereas after I go with the lateral force, I land on two feet, I'm gonna jump back into a regular position where I started from when I jumped up off the ground. Now I'm gonna go from double leg to single leg, back to double leg and stick the landing. The goal here is one, it's gonna enhance your proprioception of where your body is in space. It's also gonna enhance the control of your core, right? And overall power under control. And that's very important in the sport of MMA, boxing. If you don't have power or if you don't have control of that power, it's gonna be useless. So we wanna make sure that we have control of our body so that we can place the power appropriately, right? Let's do it. All right, so notice when I go to push lateral, I'm landing in two feet, and then I'm just jumping up. So I'm getting triple extension of the hips and ankles, knees, and as I rotate, I'm not over rotating to the other side, I'm landing in the same position where I started from when I started the push off, okay? So I'm 45 degrees, jump up, stick the landing here, right? You can do the same thing on the other side. Usually I would do about five reps, on each side and I would do five sets total. All right, so those are the three. Again, they can be broken up into three parts, especially for those that need to be regressed, All right? So we got the beginner version, knees to the feet, intermediate is knees to the feet, then push off lateral. And then once they displayed that ability to control that power, then you could go ahead and go redirection, All right? So that'll be the third part. Usually this is gonna be someone who's been with me for a really long time. Um, I would say maybe three to five years even, that's been doing plyometrics at a higher level that can show and control the force absorption so they can control the eccentric and they control their stopping pattern. And then they can redirect with good force and a strong body. And the next one we're gonna do is similar. We're gonna break it down into beginner, intermediate and advanced. And again, it's gonna be multi-directional, all right? So we're gonna start from a base pattern, then we're gonna move on to a double pattern and then we'll go multi-directional. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from a half kneeling position. So with the half kneeling position, I'm gonna push off the front side leg. That's, that's one that's up and planted. From there, I'm gonna create lateral force. So again, I'm gonna supinate my foot, creating an arch and driving off the outside edge. As I push off the outside edge, I'm gonna jump to two feet, land, right? And that's gonna be one, all right? So that's the first one, that's the beginner portion. All right, here we go. Okay, so as you can see, pushing off that outside edge, when I go to stick the landing, I wanna make sure I'm in a good athletic position and solidify the stick of the landing. Now, it's not so much about landing hard, but we wanna land with, again, that full surface area space. So three points of contact, big toe, little toe, and heel. Think of that. We're not landing on the balls of our feet. We're obviously not heel striking, but we want full foot contact on the ground. That way we can feel the ground, and if we need to re reproduce that force or go the opposite direction, like we're going to plan to do, we have the ability to do so. All right, so now what we're gonna do is the intermediate portion where we're gonna add on to that. So we go from the half kneeling position, we push off lateral, we're gonna stick the landing on two feet, and then we're gonna do that 45 degree turn like we did on the first one. So that 45 degree turn, we're gonna go from, let's say for instance, half kneeling with the right foot up, we're gonna push off the right leg, we're gonna stick the landing on two, we're gonna push off the left leg and rotate 45 degrees, sticking in a bladed position. All right, 
So as you can see, we're moving in two different patterns, right? We're going lateral force, then we're rotating back the other way using both legs this time. So again, single leg, single leg, and we're going to land on two with this one. All right, again, you can start to increase that over time, land on one foot, so on and so forth. But for now, we're going to give you the, again, like I said, beginner, intermediate, and advanced for these two exercises. Now, for a programming perspective, if you want to find out more details, you can check out the mentorship program, like I said, down below. Also, I have some programs that have these exercises in them. So heavy hitter and fight ready too as well. But let's go over more detail on the third rendition of this or the added on version for the advanced, right? So the advanced athletes, the guys that know how to absorb and redirect force very fast, they have the ability to produce force. Those are the guys that have strength already there. Their absolute strength is through the roof. And they have the ability to, again, like I said, have that stretch shortening cycle very fast, right? They're quick and twitchy. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so as you've seen, I changed up the pattern or the direction of the pattern where the force is being displayed. Now, again, you're hitting lateral force, lateral force. Then you're going to go horizontal force. And we're going to go ahead and drive forward in a broad jump position. So it's going to go single leg, double land, single leg, double land, rotate on two, jump forward and land on two. So you got that broad jump with the rotational component, right? So now you're working through the transverse plane. We're working lateral force displacement, all the things that you're gonna need inside combat sports. So one more time, again, beginner, intermediate and advanced version of this exercise. All right, so there you guys have it. Those are the two exercises for plyometrics and jumping that can enhance your combat sports performance. Again, you got the beginner, intermediate, and advanced. If you wanna find out more details on this, check out the mentorship program. You'll get personally mentored by me. We'll get a bi-weekly call. If you wanna find out more details, book a call with my team now. Find out how you can get started. Link is down below, all right? Again, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification, and catch my damn breath. Hit the like button. See you again next time. Peace.